Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we would like to welcome you to the virtual store online learning from the procurement service, Department of Budget and Management. Uh, by the way, my name is Robert Tomarang. I'm part of the marketing and sales division. I'm also handling retail store and part of the quality management system. Uh, we would like to uh, welcome you again for this training and we are passionate and very thankful uh, for all of your uh, attendance today. And by the way, in behalf of the procurement service, we just uh, recently celebrated our 42nd anniversary. Maraming salamat po sa lahat po uh, sa inyo, mga ahensya or sangay ng gobyerno sa pagtanghilik at pagtaguyod sa mga produkto at serbisyo ng procurement service. So I would like to um, go uh, directly to my presentation. I'll be presenting the virtual store and uh, the retail store for the procurement service. So to start with, um, I know that you're familiar with Virtual Store. Uh, next start po ito a couple of years ago. And it's an online service of the procurement service EBM that allows agency to view, search, and procure common new supplies and equipments. That also includes po yung mga COVID items natin that was recently introduced to you no pandemic po. And if you're familiar with some of the online selling platform, like uh, Lazada, Shopee, uh, like uh, recently we do have 11, uh, 11 for the Shopee and Lazada. The virtual store is a counterpart of the government uh, in terms of selling uh, common use supplies item. Uh, just to reiterate the, the features and the advantages of the virtual store, um, I would like to mention a couple of things po. Um, puto. First off, it's much more faster since uh, the retail store is using a digital platform. Uh, it's much more easier and faster for you to actually access and review all of our catalogs and items for procurement. Book. It's also real time. The inventory is real time. What you see on our catalog is available. If it's not available, it's not uh, searchable. So it's for restocking. Book. Uh, and we can give you a real-time inventory for virtual store. Free po, it's easy payment. Uh, we utilize e-wallet balance po. You can um, deposit uh, a fresh funds or a utilized balance from 2019 up to now, and it will serve as your e-wallet balance. And lastly, the fourth uh, feature or advantage of the retail of the virtual store router is it's an online. So you can access using a computer, cell phone, or desktop in terms of procuring uh, common supplies on the virtual store. Um, I know that most of you are legal officers or um, you're part of the general service divisions. And uh, since this is actually, um, we implemented this last year and we wanted all of the agencies to transition to virtual store, Meron po sa inyo na nagtatanong, what will be the legal basis in terms of using the virtual storm uh, for full uh, full uh, usage na po here in procurement service? First one, uh, I just refer you to the general, um, we have the GPPB resolution. If there are the policy making board for procurement, uh, they were able to issue resolution number 20-2018. And I just want to quote, all agencies are mandated to fully use the fill jeps for the procurement of common use supplies through its virtual store feature in accordance with the section 8 of the revised implementing rules and regulations of RA number 9184. Uh, this was issued October 18, 2018. So two years na po tayong uh, gumagamit ng retail store and by now, we really encourage all of the government agencies to transition to the virtual store using this legal basis. Uh, on top of that, we also have the mandate po sa Pangulo, uh, Rodrigo Duterte, in terms of ARTA that will be anti-red tape and an ease of doing business. The use of the virtual store is in accordance of the Republic Act number 11032, known as the ease of doing business and Efficient Government Services Delivery Act of 2018. Um, so since this is a digital platform, uh, may wasan po natin ng queuing and it will be an effective way in terms of procurement here in PSDBM. Just to give you 
uh, visual presentation, uh, alam ko po na some of us are more on visuals in terms of learning. And I will give you the business floor or cycle for the virtual store. It started from you, government agencies. Uh, you can access through using your cell phone, desktop, and laptop. And go to our website, uh, philchips.gov.ph. And you need to log in your uh, credentials. And from there, you can access your account. You can see our, uh, the catalog, your orders, and other features of the VS. Uh, you can use that one if you have a funded e-wallet balance. You can actually uh, search and add to cart all of the common use that is actually allocated for your, uh, for our, as a requirement for the government agency. And for you to be able to complete the transaction, you, uh, you can uh, use the e-wallet balance and it will allow you to complete the order. And before, uh, bago pa lang po sa pandemic, uh, we were able to deliver all of the items procured within Metro Manila. But as of now, due to the pandemic and limited truck po, uh, we do apologize and I help you understand. Uh, pasensya na po, but all of the transactions are for pick up within seven days. And I just want to reiterate that uh, we normally implement cancellation of orders for the long and pickup items. Po. So that will be the visual presentation for the virtual store. Po. And uh, just to go on details po, for the important terms that you may encounter um, when using the VS, uh, we do have the EPPCSE or the Annual Procurement Plan for Common Use Supplies and Equipments. This refers to the yearly requirement of agency for CSE approved by the head of the procurement entity or HOPO. So as of now, uh, this was mentioned already by another, uh, another speaker that APPCSE for 2021 must be submitted on or before December 15. So if you, this is just uh, a forecast of what we will buy for next year. Po. So I hope you comply with that. This is part of the performance-based bonus or PBB for your agencies and I hope that you complied and uh, support us in terms of uh, gathering this data because ito po ang magiging basihan namin para po sa mga ipoprocure namin for next year. So that will be APPZSC. And a while ago, as I've mentioned, we also have the e-wallet. This refers to the unique number created in the virtual store system and assigned to an agency upon registration for payment of the common use supplies. So once you have a BS account po, automatically meron na po kayong corresponding e-wallet number. Okay? So I just want to make sure that all of you are listening and still uh, actively uh, participating. Can I get a thumbs up po for all of those participants na that are viewing right now? You can also chat on our chat box for any questions but that will be later answered by our moderator or resource speaker po. So let me see those uh, uh, thumbs up po. Okay. All right, thank you so much for your patience. Uh, please bear with me po. Uh, medyo boring po yung uh, the presentation because this is actually details or um, just information about the VS. But later on, medyo magiging light po. Just so bear with me for a couple of minutes po. So let me continue the, the other terms for the VS. We also have the APPCSC uploader. This refers to the person authorized to upload. Uh, the APPCSC. So the buyer, on the other hand, is the person responsible in terms of procuring from BS. So means and po sa mga ahensya, it's a multi multi uh, function test that is actually uh, done by a single person. Uh, you can be a uploader as well from back office, and the supply officer naman po can be the buyer. So the approver, on the other hand, po is will be your the hope. And we can also categorize for the department head or any supervisor to be your approver in terms of the registration and uh, VS transaction. Po. So just to let you know, po, all of those uh, users can be registered on a virtual store. It's downloadable on the website po namin for the 
uh, registration form, you can fill out all of those information, scan those information, and email it back to the VS that help this at ps-philchips.gov.th. All of the email addresses will be provided to you later on later uh, before the end of the presentation. Okay, so moving forward, so the requirements I've mentioned in terms of using the VS, we have the registration on the Philchip Plus platform. As of now, we're uh, experiencing downtime in terms of the new accounts, but where the Philchip's um, division is actually doing um, or doing something about it. So kindly bear with us. Before you actually upload, sample you need to download the APPCSE template and then uh, you need to have a funded e-wallet balance for you to complete the order. So what's beauty with the virtual store is actually you can reserve and you can complete the transaction using the e-wallet balance and it, it will be reserved to your agency already. Okay? Uh, for the procurement through the virtual store, there are important reminders that you need to know about. Uh, first one, agencies can only procure common use supplies and equipments in accordance with the items and quantities indicated in their uploaded APP CSE. Um, so the basis for your order will be your uploaded APP CSE po. Kailangan po natin magkaroon ng quantities for you to be able to order. So for example po, you'll be needing um, A4 copy paper and wala po tayo for the month of November or December. Um, so if you were able to upload your ATP CSE, there is a facility po in virtual store that you can add additional quantity for you to be able to order a complete defense action. Second one, as I've mentioned nga po, there's an edit facility that you can uh, do for the supplemental uh, quantities for your uploaded ATP CSE. So it's part of the feature and view of the virtual store. You don't need to have to submit a supplemental copy, a hard copy dito po sa PS or sa DBF for that. Uh, it's actually part of the virtual store platform already. And lastly, the order confirmation from the virtual store is sent electronically na po. So all of those agencies that able to complete an order uh, will be emailed a confirmation email and that will have an order confirmation and that will be the basis for in terms of here going to PS for the pickup of items. So that are the, uh, the three important details that you need to know for in terms of ordering in virtual store. So uh, lastly, I just want to, um, to give you an in-depth discussion about the e-wallet funding po. As I've mentioned, the e-wallet fund po can be based from the unutilized balance of your agency from 2019 up to date. It can also be a fresh fund. It can also be a check deposit that you were able to uh, deposit to the land bank of the Philippines. Or it can also be uh, LBDAP ADAPO, that will be a bank transfer also to land bank. So once you have that fund, the VS will automatically draw down from the e-wallet and update the e-wallet balance upon order confirmation. In the event po that the e-wallet balance is sufficient or hindi po sapat, to cover all of the common use items to be procured, the virtual store will automatically reject the order. Dapat po talaga may pondo tayo for it to be reserved or completed. Kasi po, if wala po kayong pondo, it will be put po as your pending orders. Okay? So to support po, kung saan po natin hubutin yung pondo for the e-wallet, uh, kindly refer to the GPP Resolution 20-2018. Uh, it's nakalagay po dyan na uh, under the 5.4.1 that agency shall initially deposit po at least a cash funds equivalent to the 3 months of APP CSC. So for example po, if you have um, at least 100 or 1 million fund for the whole year po, at least that will be at least 3% or more or less that will be 
uh, if it's three months po, it's 100 per month to so 300,000 po for, to cover for the whole year. Or it can also be an 8% as it's stated in the 4.2, uh, that will be at least 8% of the allocated budget for the whole year for the common use supplies. So it's either three months or 8% of your budget for the common use supplies for the whole year. So ito po yung pwede natin i-present sa controller or sa accounting natin in terms of a deposit or in terms of transferring money to procurement service on your VS account. Okay, so just to give you a virtual um, learning or hands-on training in terms of the visual uh, uh, presentation of the functionality of the virtual store, I just want to show you the Excel template for the ATP CSC and it will give you all of the items uh, available here in uh, procurement service, the quantity, and uh, the amount as well. The second one will be the main menu of the virtual store. Po. You can see their view and upload APP CSC. So, dito po tayo pupunta if we want to upload or view the completed APP CSC template. The next one is the edit facility po for the uploaded APP CSC. If you go to the right part of the screen, scroll to the right part of the screen, you can see they're under the action button. It's a notepad with the pen and you can click on that one and it will give you this item details for that particular uh, particular item po. So, meron po tayong monthly quantity if you want to augment or lessen a particular month, meron po tayo dyan per month. Uh, if you were able to save it, it will automatically save the changes or that you have made to your APP CSC. So, ito na po yung magiging supplemental APP CSC natin. So, just to set expectation, wala na po tayo. If it's uh, already past months, this will be a gray area already. Hindi na po natin siya pwedeng i-upgrade. Okay, going back to the main menu, of the APP CSC, uh, you can also see there the price list for every common use supplies items and MIS report. So if you go to the main menu and click on the dashboard, it will give you this catalog book. So the catalog has the pictures of the items, it also have the technical specifications and the price of the items. Uh, what's good with this one, if you're familiar with the online shopping app or like the Lazada and the Shopee, it's also the same. So it's a, it's, it's a mirror of, of those platform and ito po yung offer ng Philchips Procurement Service and for all of you para po makasabay po tayo sa uh, electronic procurement po. And if, if that particular um, supplies or items is, is part of your uh, procurement, you can click on Add to Cart and it will be part of the items that you need to check out when you complete an order. So just go through the items before I will not enumerate or itemize the description. Uh, you can see that when we will have, uh, when you have an access already with the free post store. Exciting po ba? Medyo maganda po tong part na to. It's really techy but it's, it's not, it's user friendly. Pwede rin po ito sa mga hindi uh, ganun ka millennial po in terms of uh, of your age po. So, uh, just to proceed po, this will be the part that you can add to cart already, your virtual store order, and it will give you all of the details. You have a last chance to edit all of the quantity that you were able to input initially, and to see the amount uh, available or will be reflected uh, for you to be able to, to anticipate kung ano po yung payment natin before checkout. So, you can view details as well for the technical specification and you can book now. So, I just want to ex set expectation the book now will be the last option or step in terms of completing your orders. Right now, the beauty of the virtual store, since it's an online platform, we were able to offer reports uh, for you that uh, that's include your pending reports as well as your completed reports. You can see the number of items that you were able to procure for the year. It can also provide you the peso value for the amount that you were able to procure for, for, for the year. So what's the beauty with that is um, aside from your own 
uh, documentation uh, or filing for the the procurement that you had with us we can also provide you reports using the virtual store MIS report all right so to incise you more about in terms to uh, for you to be able to use and patronize the virtual store uh, I would like to share to you some testimonials uh, or uh, it's word of mouth of of our client agencies that are satisfied with uh, in terms of using the virtual store so let me just read one of them the virtual store is a breath of fresh air considering the new normal of working from home it is very cost effective because we can now do away with rigorous paperwork and um meron din po nagsabi ng maraming advantages ang paggamit ng virtual store kahit saan at kahit anong oras pwede akong mag-add to cart order at check ng supplies basta may phone and with internet connection so we were able to uh, post this on our social media accounts uh, the advantages of using the virtual store and uh, it's it's available on our Facebook account on our Twitter account and you can check the title is of using vir uh, PS Virtual Store procurement of at your fingertips for coaching our PS clients. Um, I just want to let you know that the Virtual Store is actually available nationwide. Um, when I said this, because uh, Virtual Store is is for your APPCSE uploading, and all of the government agencies are required to to have the APPCSE available at the PSDBM. So. But in terms of the usage or the transaction for the virtual store, it's only available in Metro Manila and nearby provinces like the Batangas, Quezon, Laguna, and some competing area. So um, the, the plan for the virtual store is actually have this available, made available to our regional offices. But as of now, due to pandemic nga po, magkaroon po tayo ng delay in terms of uh, rolling out the virtual store on the regional depots. So we will let you know, we will post um, post updates uh, for next year if this will be available because this is actually something that you need to look forward uh, in terms of electronic procurement here in the procurement service division.